So the real question is, what is it about AI programs that make them different? Why isn't it just more software, right? Because we've had changes in the past, right? We went from command lines to Windows, and uh, uh, we had to learn some new APIs, but it was still just software, and the software processes didn't change that much. Why should adding AI change the processes? Uh, isn't it just a new application area? And I think the, there's a n number of fundamental reasons why that's not the case, why AI really is different. And the first one is uh, the content. The stuff that we're building uh, is now a model and not a program. And we've spent the last 40 years building up tools to create these programs, these program texts, and our IDEs with our color coding and so on that are designed to make us deal with the text in a good way. And now we're writing, uh, we're creating models instead of text, and we just don't have the tools to deal with that. So we need to retool the industry to be able to deal with a different uh, type of model that we're dealing with. The second part is the processes. So we have a, a debugging process, and we, uh, we have our uh, issues databases, and we have our debugging tools and so on. And when we, we get a problem, we know how to go about fixing it. But with an AI system, it's not quite like that. When you get a problem, you give it more training data, and it starts to converge to a better answer. But uh, the bug hasn't gone away. It's just been hidden, and it may come back. We don't have a way of, of closing bugs out with uh, machine learning in the same way that we do with traditional debugging. The release cycle is different. In traditional software, uh, we know how the release cycle goes. We know we uh, count down all the bugs we want to fix. We count down all the features we want to add. We go through the uh, testing cycle and we go th pass all the regression tests, and then we ship an upgrade and, uh, and celebrate. In machine learning, it's not necessarily like that. We ha may have models that are online, where every millisecond they're getting new input in, and they're uh, modifying themselves and changing. We don't have time to rerun all the regression tests every millisecond, so we need new processes to deal with this new, uh, faster release cycle. And then there's a lot of issues around uncertainty, where AI systems are fundamentally dealing with uncertainty, whereas traditional software is fundamentally trying to hide uncertainty. And first is if I deposit it over here, I want that to be $100 more. And if it doesn't happen, we can be definitive of whether we're doing the right thing or not. But now, say, we're trying to do something like uh, detect fraud in a bank transaction. That's a fundamentally different process. We can't say for sure this is fraud and this is not. Uh, we can only say that probabilistically. And we can't say for sure what's the cost of uh, denying a transaction. What if this was a, a valid transaction and we turned it down? We don't know for sure what the cost is. So we're not even sure exactly what our objectives are. And that's something that we have to discover rather than something that we're given. So that type of uncertainty adds to the uh, difficulty of dealing with AI and changes the process for how software is developed.